The Schwerer Gustav, Rail Supergun, World War II. The Schwerer Gustav was the largest artillery gun ever made. Before the Second World War had started, Hitler required a devastating weapon for the invasion of France that could destroy the Maginot Line, penetrating its several layers of concrete and steel. The Schwerer Gustav was designed in 1934 by the German arms manufacturer Krupp. This giant railway gun weighed 1,350 tons and had an overall length of 47.3 meters or 155 feet 2 inches. It was mounted on a railway chassis running on specially constructed tracks and had to be disassembled and assembled to set up. Even a set of outer tracks were required for the cranes to achieve this. Its barrel length was 32.5 meters or 106 feet 8 inches and could only move up or down at an elevation of 48 degrees with horizontal targeting achieved by a curved tracks. The weapon caliber was 80 centimeters or 31 inches and the heavy concrete piercing or high explosive shells weighed 7 tons, making them the largest and heaviest shells of any artillery piece in the world. The gun could fire over a range of 47 kilometers or 29 miles. After a number of shells were fired, the barrel would wear away and need replacing. The artillery gun required a staggering number of crew. 250 crewmen were required to assemble the gun, which took three and a half days, while 2,500 crewmen were needed to lay the tracks. Flak battalions were also a necessity to protect the gun from air attacks as it was highly visible due to its size. The Schwerer Gustav would be constructed throughout the 30s, but it would not enter service until 1941, therefore missing the French invasion. The gun would be transported to the Eastern Front and used at the Siege of Sevastopol, where 4,000 men were required to set it up in position. It fired 300 shells at several enemy positions, including Soviet fortresses and ammunition magazines. After this, the Schwerer Gustav was transported to Leningrad, but the attack was cancelled. It is unknown whether there was a second gun constructed or whether it was a nickname by the German artillery crew, but in 1942, Dora, as it became known, was operational at Stalingrad, but withdrawn by the Germans. During 1942, the Germans proposed to construct a new version of the gun, mounted on a self-propelled platform that could move without railway tracks, called the Landcruiser P-1500 Monster. However, the idea was eventually scrapped. As the war was coming to an end, the Schwerer Gustav, some sources say, was destroyed by the Germans to prevent capture on the 14th of April 1945 and its ruins studied by Soviet specialists. Overall, the Schwerer Gustav was quite an impractical weapon, demanding a large number of crew and setup to become operational. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History World War II today. Thank you guys for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy it, please consider visiting our Patreon page. There, you can show us your support for the channel by donating and make a huge difference in what we're able to create for you. Plus, you can get early access on upcoming videos. So let's keep it growing, and thank you for being part of this amazing community.